This is my Rover Series 200 Powermaster Briggs & Stratton motor mower. It works fine and I use it regularly, however it's due for a service and there's a couple of things that I'd like to fix. It normally doesn't blow this much smoke, but the oil all went into the head when I was checking what I'd need underneath. It has a couple of oil leaks, one from behind the valve cover and from the main seal. The front wheels are loose, as are the handlebars, and the throttle is annoying to use. First I'll take the blade off and get the oil draining. The blades are pretty easy to get off with the impact driver. Yeah, except for this one. These are a bit beyond sharpening and new blades are cheap, although I do need to reuse these bits. With the oil drained, I can flip the mower and have a look at the seal, but first I've got to get the blade mount off. Now at some point in the past, some moron replaced the oil seal with a metric one. To be fair, there's only a couple of thousandths difference between them, so the oil doesn't gush out, but it doesn't stay in either. I've put a bit of grease on the lip and since it's a metal seal I've got a bit of gasket maker on the rim. Once that's done the blade can go back on. While I'm under the mower, I can sort out the front wheels. I just had it tied up with some wire, but I bought an axle rebuild kit. 
It's a little tight, but it slips over the axle and into this gap in the deck. The wire spring holds it in place through these holes. I just don't think these two bolts are enough to seal the valve cover with only a gasket. So I'll rebuild it with Gasket Maker, which is a little better when there's less than even clamping force. This inner part is held together just by the bent metal tabs. Hmm, I just don't feel right leaving that muffler on there. I suppose I could have bought the proper one, but why spend 50 bucks when I can waste hours and hours of my time? First I'll press some sheet metal with a hardwood form that I quickly whipped up. And then I'll beat out the wrinkles. This will be a baffle plate which forces the gases to do a sharp 90 degree turn. It will only be tacked in place and free to move which will rob the exhaust gas of some energy and therefore hopefully volume. It's painted white so that any leaks will show up and I can fix them. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the fact that that's the only paint I had.
I don't think this throw was original to the mower and it was cheaper to buy this universal kit compared to just the cable. The air filter isn't too bad. It was running well enough anyway, so I didn't see the need to pull the flywheel and adjust the points. Finally, I can top off the oil and give it a go. Once it's warmed up, I pull the spark plug again to check the compression. Sixty psi, a little low. However, I don't trust this gauge. It's more of a comparison for next time. Here's a tip: keep a list of the compression readings of your engines with the tester kit. That way, you have it to compare for next time. The bolt seems to have stripped out the threads. This is a thread repair or helicoil kit. Helicoil is the brand name. First I drill out the damaged threads. Tap a new oversized hole. And finally install one of these repair coils. And just for fun, a side-by-side -side comparison of the old and new mufflers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.